Happy Timely Tuesday, friends. It's April 20th that this is going up. This week, we're going to be getting into the third and final ingredient of cranking up your money magnet. Um, we've gotten great feedback about the first two, so this will be the third in our series. This will be. This is the ingredient that makes the whole process really kind of fun and allows you to shine your light in a way that's enjoyable for everybody and is super effective for helping you work much, much smarter instead of just much, much harder. Let's have some fun together. Let's go. So, right, first off, I wanna say thank you so much for all the great feedback that you've given us about this whole series that we've done. Uh, I've, had, I've had so many of you tell us that we're really hitting you right where you need to be hit right now and that the, the ingredients that we're sharing about cranking up your money magnet have been super helpful right now. So, just to recap, two weeks ago, our first ingredient that we discussed to making yourself more magnetically attractive to people, money, and results was clarity. We talked about how getting a clear picture of what you want and why you want that and being not so worried about the how was the thing that your subconscious brain needed to pull you in that direction. Two, last week we talked about elevating your energy through monitoring and upgrading your input sources mentally because money is a high vibrational frequency kind of energy and you need to match that if you want to harmonically resonate with it. The third ingredient, the third ingredient, how funky is your chicken? How loose is your goose? That was weird, but it is about being loose. The third thing in, cr in, in cranking up your money magnet is, yo, you just, you gotta be loose. You gotta be relaxed. If you're tense, that slows things down. It slows you getting where you wanna go. It slows things coming to you. My favorite example of this is if you watch the fastest people in the world, sprinters, Olympic sprinters who run as fast as any humans have ever run before. I would actually encourage you to do this. Check them out, get a YouTube video, uh, and just watch sprinters running the 100 meter dash or the 200, it doesn't really matter. But if you can watch and get specifically, if you can get a close up of their face in slow-mo, you will laugh your butt off because they get these, their, their facial muscles are so loose that as they're flying down the track, their face is like rubber face and it's all over the place. And the thing that I thought was so interesting about that is that that's intentional. When I learned about athletic performance as it relates to all kinds of performance in our world, what I learned is that sprinters intentionally work on keeping all of their, except for their ones that they're using, they want their muscles to be as loose and relaxed as possible. And one of the places that people often carry tension is in their face. So sprinters have learned that if they're tensing their jaw, if they're clenching their jaw and they have tension in their face, it slows them down. And so they will intentionally keep the muscles of their face really, really loose and relaxed. They pay attention to relaxing their face while they're running because it kind of helps all the other muscles relax as well. And that relaxation brings upon speed in getting to the finish line. And I need to tell you that the same thing is true in manifesting money results, business results, and bringing the right people into your world. You gotta be relaxed. Tension slows you down. I was talking about this with a client of mine literally just this morning who is on his way. This is a guy that I've talked about a bazillion times in this video. He's uh, right at the end of, the, of his company's what they call their production year. Um, they've got a, a, a deadline uh, a month from now, he's 11 twelfths of the way through their like fiscal year. And he's got this huge goal that he's been going for. And man, he is right on the, he's right on schedule to get there. And our whole coaching conversation this morning was about, okay, how do you stay loose? How do you stay relaxed? How do you 
continue moving forward, but without just gripping it too tight. Well, I'm going to give you two pieces of advice, kind of flip sides of the same coin. The first one that I that I think whenever I think about this issue of you know being of being loose and relaxed, it all boils down to you got to be okay with whatever the result is. Like you've just got to be at peace with however it turns out. What I talked about with my with my client this morning was the idea of just running this last month in a way that no matter what happens, you have no regrets. If you just live every day to the way in, in the way that you won't regret it, that you feel good about what you did at the end of the day and at, therefore at the end of the month, like even if you come up $10 short on this like multi-million dollar goal, you'll still feel great and you won't have any regrets. And if you do that, you'll stay loose. Just kind of naturally. It's the sort of the business equivalent of keeping the muscles in your face loosey-goosey, right? Operate in a way that you'll have no regrets. And then two, I heard, um, I heard a great marketer give this advice. This was a guy who had made a bunch of infomercials, very, very successful infomercials. This guy was kind of like a guru in the infomercial business. We don't really do infomercials around here, but there is some awfully good selling and attraction going on in a, in a well-done infomercial. And this guy said that, okay, in selling in general, he goes, you know what you do? You have to care but just not too much. And I thought, that sounds a little cynical on the surface, but you know what? It really is true. You do. You have to care. You have to want to serve the people that you're working with. You have to want them. You're like, you, have to, you have to be representing something that you believe in, and if you do that, of course you're going to want to take care of people. You're going to want, you, you care about doing the right thing by by your clients or your coworkers. Yeah, you have to care, but not that much. Not too much, right? If you're living in if you're living each day this week in a way that you're like, yeah, I did my best. Well, guess what? You'll have no regrets. And that naturally translates into you'll care about the right things and you won't care too much. When you care too much, you start clenching your jaw. You get a little tense, and that slows you down. Don't do that. You just go have a good day today, and then go have a good day tomorrow. And you know what? The results are going to be what they are. And when you care about those things, but not too much, when you care about the right things, but you keep it all in perspective, good things come. All right, I didn't want this video to go too long, so I'm going to wrap this up here. I really hope this is helpful for you, and I really hope that you're getting value out of this series because we love working with you. We love working with our clients. We love finding new clients, and we dig you. Go have a great week, and I hope to talk to you soon.